Elena and Brooke with Stretchy Arm Pilates ER. Today we're going to be going over a quick video. It's going to be more of a stretchy rehab video on the OOF today. So find your OOF, find enough space, and we're going to get started. So I'm going to be sitting on the mat with a big part of the OOF facing towards my body and a small part of the OOF facing that direction. I'm going to scoot my butt down low. I'm not going to have my butt on the ground but it's gonna be low to the ground, hovering from the ground, so super low, not high at all. Once you have that, round the spine back and find yourself on the oof. If you need to square it up, feel yourself get centered on it, I want you to find that position. Now, we're gonna lift one leg at tabletop and lift the other leg at tabletop. Now, when you lift that last leg up into tabletop, I want that head to be able to stay down. If it lifts up when you do that, I would suggest you scoot back just a little, or scoot down just a little bit more. So, down towards your feet. So, both legs will be in tabletop, our hands are by our side. We'll straighten our legs to the ceiling. So, Pilates style at first, we're going to just scissor these legs and then release. A little warm up so our body is ready to rehab and open. Finding your scissors. Always, when you scissor, it's about that bottom leg that reaches, and that top leg just gets that flexibility no matter what. Find the calmness in your heart as you move here. Exhaling when those legs find that full split. Inhale as you start to switch. Two more passes. Bicycle these legs around. Work on the alignment of the legs. Notice when those knee bends, they don't go out to the side, they don't turn in. They stay in the neutral line. Hip socket, knee, second toe. We got one more. Then we reverse this bicycle. Find smooth and controlled. When you bicycle, you always find that split halfway through. See my split in our bicycle around. Split, bicycle around. Good. Notice that alignment of the leg. Don't practice it perfectly. My abs are already holding this. Couple more. Last pass. We're gonna find our Pilates helicopter. Circle those legs around. We're gonna switch our legs two passes. You switch one, you switch two, circle it around. A little warm up. Switch two times. A one and a two. Switch. Switch. Find the length out of those legs. Switch. Two passes. You can tell with these two kicks, we alternate to the other leg of the helicopter. And we're going to do one more on each side. Inhale, circle around. Here's our exhale when our legs are split out to the side. Inhale, exhale. For one, and two, and switch. Now, legs are together, heels together, toes apart. We straighten out to our frog, however low we can, with our head lifting. Inhale, bend. Not as low as it would be if you didn't have your oop here. So, don't think it's weakness. I want you to go slow and calm and try to find your body, be able to control this, but however low you can handle this. And then it doesn't come off. Couple more of our frogs. Strong core. One more. Good, come in. So our legs are bent a quarter of the way, our diamond. Lift the shape up, lower this diamond down. Exhale, lift up. Keep going in your diamonds. A lot of these same moves we do in Pilates, like everything so far. This is what we would do with our feet in the strap. But as you can see, it translates here, like most moves in Pilates do. Last one. Good. Bring one foot down. 
and the other. Hmm. Reach your arms up and over your head. And arms reach to the course of you. And so our arms keep doing this. Reaching up and over head. Breaking to the feet. Smooth and steady. to happen through our feet, holding ourselves here. And the small part of this move is just a rubbing in between our shoulder blades, which I will say tethers a lot in our neck. So allowing this to break this up and find the balance where there's a part of it that was a little weak. One more on each side. Let's helicopter these arms, shall we? So let's move these arms around. Switching two passes. One, two, scissor around. Helicopter around. Two passes. One, two, helicopter. Just stay here, bring the elbows to your sides, and then reach them out. A little rehabby here. Those break up. Try to make it feel even as your arms reach out. And where it does it, give a little bit more. Okay, a couple more. Okay, a little harder. Then reach your arms straight to the ceiling. Put a ball on the tabletop. Bring it down. You can do this. So you just lift your one leg up and lower it in and you have to find the stability in that right leg. Oh man, sand. Waking up. Exhale, let me come in the video. Okay, Papa. Couple more passes. Exhaling as you just lift one up. It's been around Pilates his whole almost 18 years. <sighs> like he looks at me and I'm gonna correct myself. Couple more. Last pass. We're going to switch those legs up. Other legs going to lift up to tabletop and lower. And be okay with this difference. A lot of stability has to happen in the leg that's on the ground. And those inner thighs and pelvic floor are the best friends. And as you can tell, they are held on for life to try to make this work. So trying to find this opposition to really make that pelvic floor move together. More just one. One more. Good. Now both hands down, wide. One leg up, other leg up, find this position. One arm up. Now from here, you just lift the other arm and bring it down. Be okay with where you're at. Exhale, lift. Slow work, really challenging. You don't have anything on the floor other than your core. Trying to stay balanced on the oof as you're doing this. Just lifting one arm, hill lowering. Two more passes. One last pass. And we switch our arms. The other arm hits down and it lifts up. Okay, it lowers and lifts up. Calm and steady for you. Finding yourself, find balance in what we're moving with. So legs and tabletop. My left arm is trying to stay up towards the ceiling. And my right arm is just lifting and lowering in space. And nothing else is moving, of course. <laughs> One last pass. Have fun with training, trying to 
train as core of yours because we're going to be a little weak somewhere. It is what it is. Bring both hands down, bring one foot down, bring the other foot down. Now from here, I want you to straighten your legs out and then I'm going to wiggle my way to where my butt is a little bit more down towards the ground. And if your head has to come on, just start to come on top of it. Ooh, that's okay. Now from here, I'm going to tuck my chin in my chest. I feel roll up all the way. Mm, very good. I'm going to take the oop. Let's get it out of here. And we're going to work our bum just a little bit. We're going to put the big part of the oop towards our body. And we're going to lay down on the mat. And then have our feet on top of the big part of the oop. Now, once you have that, you're going to have your hands by your side. And we're going to find bridges. Hands will be by your side. You're going to roll your butt up bone by bone. Slowly roll it up. Try to keep the knees together. Try to keep the ankles together. Breathe in. Exhale as we slowly roll it up. Exhale as you roll it up. Are you just balance between both legs right now and enjoying that? Exhale. Inhale, release. We have one more in us. Exhale up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, out. Grab the oop in your ankles. Move it over to one side. You have one foot on top of the oop, the other foot's on the ground. You roll up into a bridge here. Roll down. Just a couple passes. Exhale, roll it up. Inhale down. One more. Exhale, roll it up and keep it. The right foot, the one on the ground, it lifts the tabletop. It taps back down. Exhale, lift. It tap back down. Two more. Good. We're going to up this ante just a little bit more. Foot's down. Reach your arms up and on your shoulders and your neck. Shoulders. Exhale, lift. And both. Exhale. Playing that internal core, have to hold you on where you don't let those arms get involved. Two. Last pass here. Lay down. Hands down, round and roll down. Nice and simple, not getting too crazy today. Grab on the oop with your ankles. Scoot it to the right side. The right foot goes on top, the left foot's on the ground. Couple uh, bridges here. Exhale as you roll up. Inhale as you roll down. Trying to feel every spine bone. Notice where in your spine it doesn't want to articulate, it wants to clump up. And give it a little bit more energy. Try not to let that happen. We got one more pass in us. We're going to roll it up and keep it up. The leg that's on the ground, it lifts the tabletop and you roll it out. Exhale. Find that thigh pull towards your body for that tabletop to happen. One more. Now find your foot down. Reach your arms up. And lift and lower. And lower. One last pass here. One more. Roll it down. It goes to the middle. Hands are down. Grab with the ankles. Both feet are on. And roll up. I want you to open these knees up to the side. Keep the feet flat. Close the legs. Open up. Close them. Arms reach up. Open up. Close them. One more. Open. And close. Turn them all down. Hands down. Let's extend our legs. Reach our arms back. We're going to reach our arms. Lift our head. Exhale as we roll up all the way. So get your oof. Once we have this oof, we're going to lay down on our side. We're on our side now. Lay down on our side. I'm going to lay the oof on the side. And I'm going to put my armpit in that oof. So I'm laying on the side and put my armpit in that oof. Now, once I have it and I need to stabilize it more, I'm going to get more of the big part. 
If I need to stabilize it with my other hand, feel free. I'm just going forward and back. And I'm getting our brilliant big ears right this anterior. Just little muscles. It kind of looks like a banana. A, na a banana. Oh, a bunch of bananas. What do you call that? It's like a bunch of bananas sitting on our ribs. One little banana is on one, another banana on another. And those really tether our shoulders. And I mean, the more you know, if you can sit there and break that up a little bit, it's not going to tether those shoulders any longer. So just knowing how the body works, I'm trying to train you based on that. Good. Oh, as you can tell, you feel this. It's sensitive. Mm, one more time here. A lovely way to start your day. Okay, we'll go to the other side. I'm going to swivel my legs over to the other direction. Tap dance music by Stan in the background. My poor old man is trying to see. Bring that a little bit underneath the armpit in the side of the ooze. I'm holding onto the ooze with my other hand. And all I'm doing is going forward and back. So I can just let that ooze or press onto that sticky fascia of that serratus anterior, that bunch of bananas on the rib cage. So our shoulders are held in place. They just drape over our skeleton body. So try it to just know how these shoulders are draped and work on what muscles need to release so they can drape easier. Oh, well, let's go with the time. Let's notice what's happening. Let's go ahead and call it. We'll move into the back. So, thank you, Stan, for directing this. Let's have our hands on our knees. Just bring one ear to one shoulder. Come up. Other ear to one shoulder. Come up. Eyes down. Eyes up. Circle around the side. Be okay with whatever we just did. Quick abs, quick rehab, quick stretch. We'll go to the other direction. Our days are different and what we can get in. Be patient with yourself that you just got this in. Didn't have to be long, didn't have to be big. Bring your head to the center. Hands on your heart. Tie your heart, thank you for being here. Feel that breath underneath those hands. Pull it more, pull those hands up more. Feel that respiratory system, thank you. Thank you so much for joining. We will see you next time. Lovely Uber situation going on today. Thank you.